I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Tuesday, August 25th, is found in Romans, the 11th chapter, verses 33 through 36. Oh, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are His judgments and how inscrutable His ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, who has, or who has been His counselor, or who has given a gift to Him, that He might be repaid? For, for from Him and through Him and to Him are all things. To Him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Full of God. For from God and through God and to God are all things. Verse 36. Whoa. What happens if we take this statement seriously? Everything is from God? Everyone? That means even those who look different belong to God. Even those who believe differently from me. How easily we can be offended. I suppose it is part of our evolutionary nature not only to need community but to desire exclusivity. The impulse towards community helped human beings survive over the ages as they surrounded themselves with others like them for protection and provision. Community is in our bone but so is making community exclusive. It's not a surprise that this practice folds into our faith identity. We like the idea of being unique and separate, but this first reminds us that God is not exclusive and instead is the source of all and works through all. Not one place or person or thing is apart from God. How might this understanding change how we see the world? How might it affect our interactions with other people? Let us pray. Oh God, help us see you working for good in every person and situation. In Christ we pray. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.